tomorrow we have the 111 portal and it is also the first new moon of 2024. Let us have a look what energy might be coming through for this energetic portal and this new moon, please. What do we need to know, please, Spirit? What do we need to know? We will first read Oracle and then we'll move on to Tarot. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have got Unconditional Love, Treasured and New Journey. For many of us, 2024 has already felt like we have entered a new timeline. And this is going to be emphasized more with this 111 portal. And within this fresh new start, we are going to experience unconditional love. I believe that 2023 was a preparatory year for this coming year. One where you may have had many experiences and are ready for this newness and this unconditional love. We can see the illustration on this card has formed a circle. This delicate floral wreath creates a circle symbolic of eternity. I had earlier said that 2023 was a preparatory year. And yet, as I look at this, I feel that that was your final preparation year as I believe that you have been through many cycles, perhaps even lifetimes, seeking this true and unconditional love. It is a love that is all-encompassing, where you can truly and unapologetically be yourself. Although frequently spoken of, this type of love is rare, and from what I have seen and experienced, shows up in your life when you have come to a point of total self-acceptance. With us having the new journey card and having the circle here, I believe that you are starting a new cycle, one where you are going to be utterly treasured and adored, something that is written in the stars. You yourself already understand your value and your worth and have shifted emotionally and mentally into this highest timeline. And because of this, others of your vibration are coming in to meet you and join you on this new journey. Spirit, can we have a look at more depth at this 111 portal, this new moon portal energy that speaks of unconditional love, a new cycle, being valued and treasured. Let us have a look. What else you have to say, Spirit, on this? Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the Seven of Cups. How appropriate is this beautiful Ace of Pentacles card? Aces, they speak of new, and the pentacle, it speaks of treasure. There may be a gift and an offer that is coming to you. And interestingly enough, I had pointed out the circle that is now replicated here. This gift of unconditional love may also bring much prosperity, quite literally financial abundance. It is a card that speaks of dedication and loyalty. In fact, I believe that it will bring you many opportunities here with the Seven of Cups. And I do believe that this is something that you have been manifesting. Not only is the Ace of Pentacles a card of manifestations, but so too is the Three of Wands. And this is you seeing the evidence of your manifestations in physicality, your ships coming in. The Three of Wands, the Seven of Cups, and the New Journey card each complementing one another. New choices and decisions, the new journey, and then on the Three of Wands it says New Horizons. Each one of these cards speaks of newness, and this is very positive and exciting energy, and it feels like it affects many different areas in your life. Financial and career, love, and for many, it also speaks of travel, this genuinely feels like a massive overhaul for whoever this resonates with. And we can see from the Eight of Wands and the Knight of Swords that this is going to be happening really fast. The Eight of Wands is a card that speaks of building momentum. 
and in relation to love it is also known as Cupid's arrow and being love-struck, rapid change and somebody coming in at top speed. I particularly like all of the sword cards when they come in the court cards. They are talking of communication and honesty and of decisions being made. This is also telling me that you have been very brave, that you have continued to move forward in all of those other cycles that you have previously experienced. There are some who get stuck and who find it really hard to move on, but not you. Even though you have experienced these challenges, you have shifted your mindset into that of an abundance mindset. You have understood your worth and your value. And this new timeline is bringing you evidence of what you have manifested for yourself. So in summary, for this 111 portal, many of you have or will shift into your highest timeline. One where there are blessings and more opportunities that are going to be brought to your attention. These could be the things that you have previously been manifesting and the truths that you have prophesied for yourself. And this is happening very rapidly for you. Eight of Wands being one of the fastest moving cards on the deck. You are going to be valued and treasured. And there could be some sort of proposition or gift that is being presented to you. Travel could be on the horizon. All of this speaks of very forward moving energy. If there has been any loops and cycles that you feel that you have been caught in, then many of you will be releasing yourselves from this and moving forward. If you would like to learn what is happening on this 111 portal for you, then there is a link in my bio to private readings. Predictions for the month of February are now also open as are same day readings. Once again, the link is in my bio.